Welcome back to Living in Wait. It may be Monday, but every day is the perfect day for Ruby Tuesday. And they have a lot going on at the restaurants. Our good friend Rick Nakashima, my bromance partner, is here to talk all about what's new. Thank Hello. you, John. It's a good thing they put the chairs a little bit far apart. Oh, we've yeah. been sitting in each, other's, in each other's lap. Six feet. Yes, COVID. there we go. Six we feet. Six. Okay, yeah. uh, um, let's just have this conversation because... There are a lot of things going on with the with the businesses, the restaurants that you own, um, and with the current climate of restaurants closing in Hawaii. How are you doing, my friend? We're doing fine right now, John. Thanks for asking. It's a trying time for all the restaurants out there. Uh, you just saw what happened with uh, with our competitor, one of our main competitors, closing five last year, three yeah. last week. Yep. And you know we have closed two two Ruby Tuesdays in the past year. Most recently, uh, Mililani, right? Mililani, yeah. Our 20-year lease was up, and, uh, you know, it was really sad to close that. That was where we cut our teeth. That was our first restaurant. Yeah. But the positive thing is, with Moanalua and Windward Open, those are our profitable stores. They've been profitable from day one. Yeah. We're doing fine. We're alive and well, and I'm really proud. We, we have used all our other employees at our two restaurants now in the best way. So I have two general managers at Moanalua right now. Well, see, that's so good because I, I know that there it was it's it's been hard and it continues to be hard since the pandemic to actually find good employees. Yeah. You had good employees at other places and you're just placing them now. Exactly. Yeah, we've asked all of them to stay with us, move to a Gyukaku, a Rainbows, mm -hmm. or you know, within the Ruby family. Yeah. And it's, it's really worked out positively. We're still short, though. We're still short in the kitchen okay. and a little bit up front. But for the most part, John, we're operating better than ever. Thank God, because it's the hardest time ever mm. to operate a casual dining restaurant. And, you know, like we just talked about, those outbacks that close, those, you know, the, the, they're, they're going to be paying their leases. I don't know that for a fact, mm -hmm. but I would safely guess that of those five restaurants, they may be paying all five leases still. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, um, since, we, since you mentioned that, let's quickly talk about this real quick, because uh, you said you're still a little bit short, and so there are opportunities for folks that want jobs. Sure. If you go on our website, rubytuesdayhawaii.com, and click on Join Our Team, you can see all the positions we have, and, you know, we'd love to have you. I have really good culture now. I have, I have uh, two great operators, Min and Sean, that... I keep trying to push the culture aspect more than anything. Mm -hmm. That everyone comes to work, has fun, does their job, and enjoys it. Ruby Tuesday, um, you guys got some good stuff on the menu, man. You, good stuff. You got some, some new stuff. New stuff, yeah. We have the furikake ahi, which comes on rice or over salad or with a brioche bun. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have our... Uh, uh, Let's see now. The second one would yeah, be... Yeah, you got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Sorry about that. You, plus, here, let me let, let me switch it up, because I know you just changed up... Um, we're seeing some stuff on the screen, but I know you just changed up your, your meat, and man, your hamburger steak is out of this world. Yeah. The hamburger steak comes with two patties. Those are two seven-ounce patties, and it's just... I, I think it's the best hamburger steak in town. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and second that motion. Yeah, that with the loco moco. And your the steaks new one, are which escaped great. me, was the pastrami burger. Pastrami. That's what I was stuck on. So that comes with three ounces of pastrami over our seven ounce patty. Mm -hmm. It's brand new to the menu. Uh, one of my sales people told me it's really selling well on the mainland. Yeah. So we thought we'd do it. We have great pastrami and great burgers. So people are really enjoying that. And I, and I love eating there. You guys do so much in the community too. I mean, you're a local boy. You do stuff. In the, tell me about some of the charitables that you guys, you guys sure. have. Our biggest one is giving thanks. That's six months out of Thanksgiving. And, you know, that one, thanks to the help with Motivate, uh, Marcus Mariota's yeah. foundation, uh, we do, we do uh, that every year in, Mar in May, mm -hmm. six months out. And we have fed in the past nine and a half years probably 25,000 plates yeah. of full turkey meals. So, you know, it's, I'm so proud of that one. We have our track meet, the Ruby Tuesday Invitational, yep. team up with Cal... Caltrack, that one's that one's one of the best meets of the year. We just did a clinic for track. We were a long t time sponsor of PBS and HPR. Uh, do, do, 
Brotherhood Grinds. Oh my gosh, yes, I know you're all a part of that. And the Timmy Chang Show, by the way. Timmy a Chang a Show, which host of the Timmy Chang Show. Which my that's that's one of the <laughs> highlights of, of, of my my week or or year is is being out there with you and Timmy. Thank you so much for everything that you do for the community and for all for all the employees. Uh, if somebody does want to become an employee, give us a website. Yeah, rubytuesdayhawaii.com. Click on join our team. Join our team. Um, thank you for being a part of our team because I know you broadcast, you, uh, you advertise with us. Thank you so much for all that you do. Appreciate, Appreciate you, John and KHUN. Yeah. Love this place. And